I welcome you again to this episode of Physical Geography, where we are still on the characteristics of igneous rock. Remember in the previous episode, we discussed about different categories of igneous rock, where we talked about extrusive igneous rock, intrusive igneous rock, and we have said that the difference between the two intrusive igneous rock is a type of rock which is formed when magma cools and solidified inside of the earth crust. An extrusive igneous rock is a type of rock which is formed when magma cools and solidified on the earth surface. And remember, we saw that in intrusive igneous rock, we have also two categories. For example, we have hyperbizo igneous rock and the plutonic igneous rock. When you talk about hyperbizo igneous rock, it's a type of rock, igneous rock, which is formed when magma cools and solidifies inside of the earth crust, but near the earth surface. But when we talk of plutonic igneous rock, this is a type of rock which is formed when magma cools and solidifies inside of the earth crust, but in deep, not near the earth surface. And today, we are going to talk about different characteristics of igneous rock. What characterizes igneous rock? Number one, igneous rock, they are formed they are igneous rocks are formed after cooling, after cooling, and solidification of magma, and solidification, solidification, solidification of magma. That is characteristic number one. They are formed by cooling, after cooling, and solidification of magma. Number two, igneous rock. They are crystalline. They are, they are crystalline. They are crystal, they are crystalline. Igneous rock do not contain fossils, meaning that in igneous rock there are no animal or plants did or did plants or animal or plant remains. They do not contain, they do not contain, contain fossils. They do not contain fossils. They are not stratified, meaning that igneous rock are not made in layers. They are not stratified. They are, they are not stratified. They are not stratified. And igneous rock, they, they are dark in color. They are, they are dark they are dark in Kara. In Kara. Igneous rock, they are also dense. They are more dense. They are, they are more, they are more dense. Meaning that they are more heavy. They are more dense. Igneous rocks also contain high proportion of minerals. They contain, they contain, they contain high, high proportion high proportion of minerals, of minerals, of minerals, of minerals. So we cannot end this igneous rock without, without telling you the examples. We have some examples of igneous rock, examples. Examples of igneous rock, we have granite, We have basalt, basalt. So those are examples of igneous rock. We shall also give you other examples of igneous rock, but the two are the most important. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and give comments so that you can keep on improving our teaching and learning practice. Have a nice time.